Ow. Okay, today's video, back working on the Acadia again. Uh, so originally, you saw me replace the front motor mount and then the torch truck mount. Uh, I've been having this kind of vibration thing going on the car and trying to track down and it fixed itself a little bit when I replaced the, the front motor mount. But then it kind of like went back to vibrating again. It makes me think I now have one of these other two mounts that's kind of broken a little bit. But I also need to replace the struts here, I think, because they're pretty funky. And you can see the gas is leaking out of it right there. So that's probably what most of the vibrations come from. But I, uh, I'm going to replace these other two motor mounts. And it's friggin' hot. I hate summer so much. But anyways, so bar number. Rear motor mount, it's over here on the passenger side. I'll show you in a minute. Transmission mount, got this from Rock Auto. I screwed up because I was originally replacing, replacing just the two. So I ended up buying the, each individual piece and uh, they do sell whole kits, which I should just bought because I got the price of everything, like all these about equivalent to the kit itself, but I lost my ass on shipping. From getting all different mixed match, mix match parts being shipped at different times so buy once car once i guess but anyways over here so first of all you got a jacket stand or actually let me start at the beginning so first of all torque circuit mount i put in there in the last video you gotta take it all apart and take that out the uh front motor mount i put in the two videos ago you have to at least uh, take the nut off the bottom of that. So I've got that already done. I got the car jacked up, wheels off. I got jack stands underneath it. Right there. Make sure you do not put jack stands on the cradle. You may, we'll see how this goes, have to drop the cradle down on both sides. Okay, so give yourself enough room to be able to do that. Um, appears to be 18 millimeter cradle bolts. So you will need well there and there's 15 millimeters back there to hold the bracket on both sides so you will need either possibly if we have to drop the cradle down an impact gun or a really long breaker bar uh and 18 millimeter sockets um you'll need one jack for sure maybe two if we gotta drag the cradle because we'll have to jack the engine up and if we lower the cradle we gotta lower the cradle down slightly with another jack slowly okay um 18 millimeter for the bolts on the motor mounts, I believe. Uh, you need a, a 10, a 13, and 15 to get off everything related to the torque strut mount. Um, and a screwdriver, flathead screwdriver. Uh, yeah, I think those are all the tools. So, I'm thinking I'm going to loosen up both mounts. They, uh, rear engine mount right here top and bottom and then back here is your transmission mount right there behind this flap that i already tore when i picked it up it's right there and annoyingly they have the brackets for these bolted on in multiple locations so you can't just loosen the brackets to move the bracket out of the way to lift this out they really want you to have to drop the cradle and all that shit so fun. Okay, so I'm gonna start by loosening those bolts up. And this motor mount is actually a 15 top, 18 bottom. So just watch your steering rack boot brake line. Save those nuts. That's what she said. <laughs> that was loose. Of course, this top one's an 18. I have a gear wrench for this, but not, not a flexible gear wrench, which is unfortunate. That's going the wrong direction.
is not wise to use gear wrenches to break apart bolts but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do all right should we hang on to your nuts that's what she said <laughs> Okay, you'll need gear wrenches for this side. Unless you're to break apart the whole control arm. All right, forgot my blocks of wood for my jack. Hopefully you can see that the whole time. The uh, bolt is right up under under here, right in above the control arm. Jim engineers, you can kiss my ass. Okay, pain ass to get out. You gotta go up, bring the back end underneath, turn it down sideways, pull this way. I didn't have to drop the cradle. That's okay. You can hear stuff kind of squishing together in the engine bay. Hopefully everything is all right. Now this one didn't even need to be changed. It's still solid. As with uh, the front one, you got a tab here, lines up in the tab hole there. So I want to say for everyone, God bless horse. You make the world a wonderful place. It's been there. Rotate it around. Get in there. I right, screwed up to that drops in there. Now I got to drop this down slowly because that front motor mount bottom is out of the hole. So I got to make sure that goes in there as well as I drop it.
Okay, uh, that one's in. It took a little bit of finagling to line up the um, the uh, other end. The uh, front motor mount. Sorry. Let's check up top. Let's start these for now. crud in the thread there. Okay, that started. Let's go to the other side now. Now this one I got to jack up on the transmission. we we'll find a spot. I'm gonna have to drop the cradle a little bit. Not happy about that. Okay, I've got. got to turn you sideways or something. No, here we go. I've got this jack here, underneath the cradle there. The other jack behind it, lifting up the transmission. Got that as high as I can go. I've got oh, here, 21 on the front and back, and then at the other end of this bracket, there's two 15s all that from the position I'm in so that's what I'm gonna be taking it out I'm gonna take out the front first maybe I can get it to slide down enough to get that out we'll see make sure you use impact sockets with an impact gun all right standard ones can blow up Oh shit, my second jack is losing pressure. Okay, I don't have those cradle bolts taken out the entire way. Just want to have enough room to be able to get this out. Slow. Very slowly. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. There you go. So you got to drop the, don't take the bolts all the way out of the cradle. The front side holds up a lot more. Uh, you have to drop it down, lower the center jack, your bottom jack down enough to where you can then pry down on the cradle with the pry bar at the front. back in can't see anything there right down push down Okay, I'm uh, going to delete out, trim out a lot of the struggling shit, because this was bullshit. I went and I tried to slide this in the same way the other one came out. I guess this stem is just a little bit longer, and it got locked in there, and I couldn't take it in or out. I ended up after a while just twisting, 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 and it kind of threaded itself up through the top hole since there's no play in it. This one here, I noticed when I was doing this, trying to get it out, that this top uh, stud here is a two-way threaded stud. To do this, if you get these ones, thread this out all the way completely. Like just take it out, slide it up through the hole, set the base in here down, and then slide this down through the hole and tighten it up into the base. 
that way you don't have to struggle with it i wish i noticed that beforehand because once it got locked in it was locked in i couldn't get it out okay so now i'm going to i got to jack the cradle back up tighten up those bolts i took out what well, i didn't take out all the way uh and then it's just going to retighten the bolts on the bottom and the top on this one the other side we already did tighten up the bottom bolt i took out of the uh front motor mount and then reinstall the torque strut the way i showed you in the last video i will mark those with cards at the beginning and i guess maybe towards this end here of the video and also put those i guess i can put those links down in the description um yeah but other than that this is where i'm going to i guess cut the video off because i think it's at this point it's just putting stuff back and it's not like it has to be anything special putting back it's just putting it back and tightening the things down all right uh so that cradle's jacked up um yeah you don't have to take these cradle bolts out all the way you can just kind of loosen them up hopefully you can hear me from back over here just to, just to get you enough room to uh be able to get these in uh the cradle down far enough to get it out um yeah i should show you what i look like right now how disgusting i am i don't know if you'll see me i mean i'm i'm just i'm nasty here so uh, that'll be how you do it now i'm just putting the bolts back on okay uh and yeah that's how you place these in your driveway make sure you have two functioning jacks or you'll have to go try and go track down another one to be able to get this job done all right guys i'll see you in the next video um like comment subscribe and all that stuff thanks for watching